as promised, I am going to be answering questions that have been posed to me by viewers on Facebook and YouTube and some friends. And um, I've compiled them all into a little notebook. If you have questions I don't answer, just post them down below. I've struggled, I've tried for a day or two to set aside some time to sit and just answer all the questions at once, and that's just not gonna happen. So I figured why don't I just grab the phone, answer one or two questions as time allows throughout the day. So let me just get started. The first question is, what is the longest, um, longest day hike? How many days, miles, or in hours? In one day, the most uh, miles that I've covered is 10 miles. It may have been closer to 11 or 12. The trail was rerouted and I got turned around and had to navigate through. So it was a 10 mile trail that probably was 11 or 12 miles. How many days? Just a two day overnight hike. That's the longest I've been away to backpack, you know, hike and, and camp. So I'll have an eye opening experience when I hit the AT. Will I be hiking alone or with others or both? Both actually. A, I'm a solo hiker. There's a lot of us out there. So I'll be hitting the trail alone, but I don't expect to be alone for long. I anticipate meeting other hikers that hike at my, own, my, at my pace and people who have similar personalities that I get along with. It's not uncommon and most hikers will end up with a trail family, a tramily. So although I am starting this adventure on my own, I don't expect to finish on my own. Next question that was posed to me is, am I concerned about boredom? Yes, actually, I am a little bit, kinda, sorta. I tend to get bored easily. If you look up ADD in the dictionary, you'll probably see my picture. But, you know, it, well, it's a long, long time. If I make the whole trip, it's about six months. So I expect to have moments where I'm bored. And I'll need to find ways to overcome that. So I think just, you know, remembering why I'm out there on the trail, I will have some podcasts and music and so forth with me, meeting friends. I also have to keep in mind, the Appalachian Trail is not just a flat, meandering, quaint little path. It is mountains. If anyone knows how many mountains that I'll be climbing on the trail, let me know. I'm very curious, but I haven't been able to find that information. So I'll be climbing mountains and I'll be, you know, challenged every, you know, several times a day. So that will probably combat the boredom quite a bit. So yeah, that answers that question. Hello. I told you I'd try to find time throughout the day. So I am babysitting as a way to bring some extra money into the home so I can take this hike. So I have these two beautiful little love bugs, twins, little boys. So I'm a little busy lady. Anyway. The next question is whether I'll be listening to podcasts or books on tape or music or anything like that. So I do have my old cell phone that I will be downloading some, um, those things. Yeah, books on tape and podcasts and, and music. Um, and I like news radio, which is a podcast that my daughter introduced me to. And hopefully I'll get some of my son's music downloaded. Yes, what do you think? So yeah, I will try to keep myself busy. I don't anticipate reading at all on the trail. Um, from what I understand from other hikers, I will be too tired at the end of the day to be looking at um, a book. So yeah, I think everything will be in my ear. I will say that I prefer to hike in silence. I like being alone and in my own thoughts and listening to the sounds of nature. So it's um, only occasionally that I will listen to some soothing music or maybe something motivational to get me up a hill. Will I be carrying a bear canister, a smell-proof bag, or just a bear bag? Right now, I just have a bear bag. It's not odor-proof, although I have considered the bear canister for a few reasons. One, and then there's pros and cons. The first is that on my shakedown hike, I'm not really good at throwing the, the bag over the limb. I'm pretty klutzy, um, but I, it's doable. But then it was raining. So the last time I did this, it was raining and the paracord got caught up on the branch and it was very difficult to get down. And I also had put my uh, toiletry bag up with the food and, you know, with the chapstick and all the scented things. But then I went back in my tent and then I needed something and I didn't bother going back to get it. So it was just an annoyance. 
And it's the little things that, <laughs> that you need to pay attention to. So I thought of a beer canister, you know, that way I don't have to be looking for the right tree, which isn't always um, easy to find. And I don't have to worry about um, not having things too nearby because a canister I could just kind of keep on the ground um, a fair distance away from the tent. It also would double as a uh, camp stool, which is appealing to me, but it's two pounds, give or take. And that's extra weight. And I'm trying to keep my pack weight down. So, I don't know, I'm kind of weighing the pros and cons. I probably will not get a canister just because of the weight. And as far as the odor-proof bag, I don't have that, but um, the comment about keeping the critters away is appealing to me. The shelters tend to have mice. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, that's a good point, thank you for that. Have I planned out resupply points or will I be doing it as I go? I have not planned out um, resupply points and I don't feel that I will do that. I think um, for a few reasons. One, it's pretty costly to ship food. You know, it could cost 10, 15, 20 dollars to have a friend or family member mail me a package for, you know, to last me for a few days and I could just use that money for the food to resupply when I'm in town. The other reason is my taste will change. That's what I've heard. What I think I might want now you know, a month or two months or three months from now may not be what I want or need. My body might need more protein or it might be craving something salty or sweet or whatever. And um, also, I don't know where I'll be at any given time. You know, I could arrange and plan that I'm going to be in this town, in this state, um, and that's where I want things mailed, you know, to a hostel, for example. But then what if I don't go to that hostel? What if I go with friends and go somewhere else? So um, I think just everything's going to change and I'll just kind of wing it and see how it goes. There's plenty of opportunities to resupply in towns. Um, so I'll just see how that goes. I could change my mind. Everything I'm saying could change, um, of course, on a dime. How much is my pack how much weight am I planning to carry approximately 29 pounds that's the weight of my backpack in, when I went on my shakedown hike and that was winter weight with the winter sleeping bag and clothing that included food for three days and my water so the, if that was 29 pounds it might go up a little bit because I am swapping out a few things and I did not include my um, uh, external battery or phone charger and anchor and that's I don't know close to a pound I'm not sure so you know it may fluctuate by a pound or two but based on what I had on my shakedown which worked perfectly well that was 29 pounds so give or take maybe 30 31 28 something like that in the summer it'll be less have I watched the movies or read the books wild and a walk in the woods no I haven't but everybody tells me that I should I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be reading anything in the next few weeks. Um, I just don't have time, but maybe I'll check Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever and um, see if I can watch those movies. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Yeah, I'm going to watch one of them tonight and I will report back to you. How many miles do I hope to cover in a day? It depends. I'm really looking at the first few weeks going as slow as my body needs to. So if I just hike five miles one day, that's fine. If I hike eight, that's fine. But I don't think I'll exceed more than around eight miles a day for the first week or two. After that, maybe go up to 10 miles a day. Um, just depends on the terrain, depends on what's in front of me. By the time I hit my second month, I should have my stride and have my uh, hiker legs and probably for most of the trip average somewhere in the teens, 15 miles, 14, 18, with a few big days with 20, 25 miles. Again, depending on the terrain, depending on the challenges, the weather, and how I'm feeling, but slow and steady, uh, like a turtle at the beginning. Do I have a trail name yet? Yes, I do. I actually just got it recently. I was named a grasshopper. A uh, fellow hiker, much more experienced than I am, has been taking me under her wing starting to snow in Tennessee. Yuck. Um, anyway, she has taken me under her wing and she's been teaching me a lot. So the reason she named me Grasshopper is based off of the old TV show, the Kung Fu series with David Carradine. Some of you might be familiar with that. 
is she uh, is more seasoned. She did 750 miles on the AT last year, and she's been my trail sensei. And she um, has noticed that I love to learn. I'm a rookie of hiking, and um, as with a lot of things in my life, I like to learn and experience new things. But I'm not very patient with myself. I want to learn, but I want to learn now. And I don't like it about myself if I have to ask the same question more than once. So she is saying, you know, patience grasshopper, patience grasshopper, and uh, kind of stuck. So yeah, my trail name is Grasshopper. That's it for today. I'll answer more questions and post another video tomorrow. <laughs>